hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how we can connect uh, this hds 11 nova pm sensor with uh, our esp8266 uh, wi-fi module uh, the main uh, motivating factor for me to make this video is uh, when it searched how i can connect this nova pm sensor with uh, esp8266 uh, i cannot or i am not in a position to find one even one uh, basic stuff uh, basic examples available in uh, YouTube or even in the Google how I can connect it with uh, ESP8266 uh, easily uh, there were uh, uh, available resources uh, which uh, this Nova PM sensor can be connected with uh, Arduino boards or uh, ESP32 Wi-Fi module but not with ESP8266 so so that if we can do a uh, one such video which uh, clear which can clearly explain even a uh, non electrical and electronics background people to connect this with uh, ESP8266 so it would be very much useful for them uh, because basically I am not from that background so uh, people's video regarding various sensors or electronics uh, board helped me to gain some knowledge in this field uh, okay now we can go into this video <laughs> sensor uh, basically has uh, one inlet and outlet in this inlet uh, there will be the atmospheric air will be entering into this uh, and uh, by using this fan it will be blown away uh, between this uh, uh, there is a model here uh, this sensor uses uh, laser light technology uh, by uh, by using the laser lights the amount of uh, air, uh, air particles diameter will be measured and uh, by using laser light and uh, the calculator factor will be uh, displayed using this uh, various pins available here uh, there are seven pins uh, out of which we will be using only three to connect it to the esp8266 uh, this is the transmitter pin which will be used to transmit the data from this model to esp8266 and the ground and the five volt pin will be used for uh, power, power sources okay now we can see the wiring okay uh, we have connected uh, the Nova PM sensor with our ESP8266 module. Uh, as I already mentioned, we'll be using only three pins in this Nova sensor: the transmitter pin, the ground pin, and the five volt pin. Even though it is mentioned as five volt in uh, this STS11, uh, it is uh, fair enough to use uh, even three volt to operate this model. So we'll be using only 3.3 volt and uh, ESP series. Uh, this 5 volt pin will be connected with uh, 3 volt and the ground pin with the ground and the data that is the transmitter pin will be connected with the T4 here. Okay, now we will look into the programming part. Okay, uh, now we will see the programming part. Uh, programming will be done uh, in the Arduino IDE software. Uh, this software can be downloaded from the Arduino website itself. It is an open source, so we can download it uh, uh, without any cost. Okay, uh, and this is the basic layout of the Arduino IDE software. Mm. In order to use the STS-011 uh, connected with the ESP8266, uh, there are various libraries available for uh, our STS-011 uh, PM sensor, but uh, these libraries are uh, meant to be written uh, for uh, Arduino Uno or Mega boards or for ESP32 boards but we can use the same program for our case also that is for ESP8266 because uh, all are written in the Arduino platform so we can use the same program for uh, any of our boards uh, we need to download the libraries for that uh, please uh, go to sketch include library and manage libraries Please give some time for the system to update the current uh, libraries.
once it finishes the updation type in the search pane as sts 11 uh, the available uh, libraries will be displayed here there are currently four libraries available in that i would prefer you to install sts 11 sensor library by r sizener version 0 0.0.5 Please uh, install the latest version at your point of time and uh, click install. Uh, once you've completely installed it uh, successfully, uh, you will uh, find the label of installed here. Then click close. Uh, the best part of the libraries is uh, these libraries also come with the uh, working example uh, when we include the library to IDE. Uh, like that, the uh, STC level sensor library also comes with an example in order to fetch it please go to file examples and uh, search for STC level sensor library under this library there is a there is an example click that and it will be opened uh, what I want to say is uh, uh, we need to make some uh, couple of changes here with respect to the pins uh, which I will explain uh, but at first we must uh, be very grateful to this person our stage now uh, because he is the developer of it uh, because of him what we are using it today uh, okay uh, come, uh, welcoming to the pin part uh, this is the uh, here uh, this is the command which uh, tells the sts 11 sensor to start working okay uh, the t1 comma t2 is an equivalent for receiver comma transmitter okay the ESP H266 pin uh, module also has uh, receiver pins and transmitter pins mm. and uh, the data from the ST011 sensor is transmitted from the transmitter pin of it to some uh, in our case D4 of the ESP H266 then the D4 pin of ESP H266 acts as a receiver for ESP H266 so in the place of D1 he must be we must put D4 of ESP D266 mm, then D2 for transmitter but uh, in our case uh, I hope you will be clear by this time there is no data being transmitted from ESP D266 only the data from the NOAA sensor is received by the ESP D266 so instead of D2 uh, just delete it but we need to put some pin numbers for uh, proper working of the program mm. then uh, here for a uh, receiver pin uh, we have uh, choose we have chosen d4 of esp266 we can't just put d4 here because the equal and gpio pin must be entered here the system uh, is uh, familiar with the gpio pin only so go to google chrome mm. Type it as ESP8266 pinout. Uh, go to images and open any of the one here. You can find that for D4 CPIO pin number is 2. Okay, then come back here and uh, put it as 2. And for transmitter pin, you just put any of, one, uh, any of your wish. Okay, uh, it won't make any difference. Uh, once you uh, finish the changing the pin values here please go to tools and don't forget to choose your port update the current port uh, now we are using ODMC 1.0 mm, you can also use the generic ESP8266 model port will be working the same way and uh, no much changes or the differences will be found after choosing the port please go to port and uh, choose the current port at which your uh, module is connected okay after finishing all this click upload wait for some time for uh, and allow the compiler to check for any errors with the program the world and organization who uh, terms the pm 2.5 as, as a silent killer because it is very much important and plays a major role in causing harmful lungs diseases breathing problems etc for humans as well as for uh, other living organs living uh, organizations but uh, uh, so we must be in a position to monitor the PM 2.5 levels as well as PM 10 levels at our home, schools, colleges, industrial areas and special economic zones etc. Because uh, it is very much important to 
have a look to monitor to take necessary actions in uh, maintaining the prescribed levels the prescribed levels as uh, said by WHO for PM 2.5 is below 25 microgram per meter cube for 24 hour mean period whereas for PM 10 levels is below 50 microgram per meter cube for 24 hour mean period this is the prescribed level the data for a complete 24 hour must be recorded and the mean is to be taken and uh, it should be correlated with the prescribed limit as described by the WHO okay now uh, we can see here the file has been uploaded successfully and uh, it is found with no error once it finished uploading please open the serial monitor we can find that the data is uh, displayed beautifully here the PM 2.5 level is 79.10 microgram per meter cube and the PM 10 level is 101.4 microgram per meter cube uh, at this time yeah, these values are recorded uh, we can see here that the values has been uh, fluctuating for this point only the 24 hour mean period is uh, preferred okay I hope this video might have helped you somehow to somewhat to some extent you may find it very useful I hope you can uh, also utilize this particular uh, module and you can uh, implement it for any other your future or current works please do share this video for other people who are all working in this area or who are finding difficulties in establishing the connection between ESP8266 with the uh, NOMO PM sensor please do share and do like the video have a nice day thank you